Monte Cristo. One of my names is enough to strike terror into your heart. But I don't have to tell you what it is, do I? You've already guessed it, haven't you? Or rather, you remember it, for, in spite of all my years of sorrow and torment, the joy of vengeance has made my face young again. And it's a face you must have seen often in your dreams ever since you married to Mercedes, my fiancé. The general stared at the terrible apparition in silence. Then, leaning against the wall, he slowly slid along it to the door and backed out of the room, uttering only this piercing, terror-stricken cry. Edmund Dandy! But I love her, cried Maximilian in agony. I love her. What? exclaimed Monte Cristo, leaping to his feet. I love her deeply, madly. I love her so much I'd give all my blood to save her from shedding a single tear. I love Valentine de Villefort, who's being murdered at this very moment. Do you hear me? And I'm asking you and God to tell me how I can save her. Monte Cristo uttered a cry that was like the roar of a wounded lion. You love Valentine? he shouted. You love that daughter of a cursed breed? Maximilian had never seen such an expression on a human face. He shrank back in terror. Then Monte Cristo closed his eyes as though dazzled by some sort of inward lightning and struggled to subdue the storm that was raging within his heaving bosom.